video is going to cover accessing our school databases and also beginning your research process. When we are on the library website, we can click on research and notice that all of our academic databases that we subscribe to are listed here in the middle. While you are at school, it is very simple to access them. You just click on them. It knows you are here and it allows you to get in. When you're at home, you need a username and password, which can be accessed here on the left. If you click on web passport, it asks for our school password. You type that in and then you have access to all of those usernames and databases that allow you to access these at home. When you begin research, I strongly encourage you to come to the library, ask for help, also to access our research page here, including our help videos on the right. I also recommend that you go to certain databases that provide background information. Oftentimes we don't know the keywords to type in or the important people or places uh, that will help us begin research uh, when we start. So a few of the databases I advise are the In Context suite of databases, including Global Issues in Context, Opposing Viewpoints in Context, World History in Context, and so on. When we click into Opposing Viewpoints in Context, it takes us here. Notice again, it is like Google in that there's a search bar. We can type in keywords. It gives us results. Unlike Google, remember databases provide specific academic quality information. It also breaks out these different categories, which we can expand and choose more specific topics. Similar or like global warming and climate change. Notice when we click into this issue, it gives us on the bottom our more traditional database results, including articles, reference material, and images but it also provides this background information at the top. Reading through this at first will help us gain that background information, including keywords, notice they're linked so that we can find out more information about them to further our research once we get into more specifics and apply that to more uh, detailed databases. Other databases here include Explora and then some of our online encyclopedias which are accessible there at the bottom. So that is my advice when you're beginning research and also how to access our databases here at school and at home.